So I'm back and I want to thank all my new subscribers and the people who found my channel already. I really appreciate it and it's fun to be a part of the conversation. The most famous of uh, this first volume is The Midnight Meat Train, which is about a serial killer uh, going through the um, New York subway at, on like a secret rail that goes into this bizarre place and um, kind of these like this ancient gods kind of exist and um, and the and the sub the murderer is like feeding these demons with the blood of the victims, which is a recurring theme in Clive Barker's work. This one, I thought, uh, In the Hills, the Cities, uh, was I, probably my favorite. It, it's so imaginative, and that is the thing about Clive Barker. He such, has such, such an incredible imagination. But in this uh, book, uh, and this is, uh, what's that book? It's, it's a short story, but it's kind of like a novella about a gay couple and this of all of the ones I've read so far was the only one that had like a like a gay male couple who is like kind of they're, they're kind of bickering you know they're, they're in every one of these stories there's like a banality going on before they get pulled into the chaos so this uh couple they you know they have sex in the field and it's very actually for for Barker this that sex scene is very discreet now I'm wondering is it because of just the time it was written or just that's you know where he's coming from he doesn't seem to hold back anything else but I thought that was kind of interesting it's really beautifully done actually um there's a line like their bodies formed a knot that only an orgasm could untie I thought that was pretty cool he's a really great writer I mean that's the thing about Clyde Barker and you've got this very almost like a, a literary style mixed with like a b-movie monster mashup I mean it's it's pretty pretty cool but that story was oh my god that was like uh, this this couple they're they're traveling I think it's in um, Eastern Europe like Yugoslavia and there are these two towns that the, it has like a wicker man kind of thing where this this town um, formed these giants out of their bodies of the, the entire town the children everyone and then the giants fight it's it's really crazy but but great. So that was volume one. Uh, volume two, uh, there's this, an, again, like really good, there's some, some that I liked better than others, but they were all really good. Um, the one about the, the hell, race with Satan, I didn't really get. There's another one in the first book, The Yattering and Jack. The ones that are kind of uh, uh, humorous, I didn't like as much. Maybe I just don't like humor mixed with my horror. You know, it's like a personal thing. Uh, the Skins of the Fathers, that was very interesting. That was like kind of like a Western. I think it took place in Arizona. It, Clive Barker's got like so many different genres mixed up. Um, the film noir and uh, Western and like an American uh, urban, but also like English village. Like, you know, he's he's got a lot of different settings to, to tell stories that have uh, similar themes. The one I really liked... Um, was Jacqueline S. Her Will and Testament. This is about like the ultimate femme fatale, a woman who's so sexual, she's like leading men to their doom. And it, it, it's really, really cool. And I think that his, he's making this connection and he, you know, he's a very sexual writer. Um, he's making this connection between sexuality as, as being like the key that unlocks this chaos and this demonic world and and yeah it's, it's very it's very compelling son of celluloid i really like this he's got two um two two stories in these three about like the theater ones uh, um you know a, a theater a traditional theater which is called sex death and starshine and then this one is about a movie theater and because I've read some of his other work, like Cold Heart Canyon, which I love is a great novel, and I'll, I'm going to reread that for this whole reading <laughs> track I'm on. Um, there is this idea, he's got like film noir mixed also with like a Hollywood sensibility. Now, I know he lives in Beverly Hills, which, which is interesting. I think he still lives there. So he's got these different influences. He's got the English, um, London, New York. Uh, kind of like a cowboy western and um, 
like a Hollywood noir all kind of thrown in together. And I, I see this a lot in Clyde Barker's work that beyond, and I love this idea because it's very much a dream world. Beyond a wall is a world. There's a door in the floor that leads to someplace else. And, and maybe it's hell or it's an alternate universe or it's back into like an ancient time with ancient gods. And that's also a theme is this idea of like these ancient gods that demand human sacrifice. Um, Rawhead Rex of the volume three is probably the most famous one. And I have to say, I, I felt physically ill from reading that but the story. I was reading it yesterday and I, I started to like retch. Rex made me retch. Um, it's very graphic. It's very monster movie. And I know there's a movie version of it, which apparently is really bad. I haven't seen it. So like I said, there's like film noir, old Western, femme fatales. There's, there's a B-movie monster feeling. Um, there are urban and rural settings. Uh, sometimes settings at sea and some are some of these uh, stories are a little more humorous and then some of them are just outright you know disgusting yeah so uh, that's books of blood but in my first leg of the Clive Barker journey and I have many many miles to go before I sleep ahead of me so I'm going to take a little uh, palate cleanser break to um, in and put the next volumes aside just for a couple days or maybe for a week while I read um, some some YA. Uh, I did a little library haul of YA books that I'm going to read this week. So hopefully I'll zip right through those, have a little respite from um, Rawhead Rex and uh, and get into some a little more a lighter tone work and then get right back onto the Clive Midnight Meat Train. So thanks for checking in and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.